Okay, so it's a brand new year. And, uh, yeah. Same old ding. Huh. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass. I was driving it. Welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Happy New Year's, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the festivities and all that stuff. And now it is finally time for us to move on right here. So, in our last episode, we went through all of Celadon City and defeated everybody. Like, literally did everything. Like, we got, what was it called? Uh, we got our fourth badge. We defeated Team Rocket. Got the fly technique. And now it is finally time for us to fly all the way to Lavender Town. Because, well... Something is afoot, and there is a big foot there. Now, you guys probably already noticed that I actually put Puss and Boogs back into the team. Well, it's probably because we don't need Cut right now, and maybe, just maybe, I want to give Puss and Boots a little bit of a chance. So, here is the Pokemon Tower. As many of you guys would already know, this place is known for some ghost type Pokemon. And not only that, this guy. Hey, Draven! What brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive! Well, at least I can make a fate. Let's go! And, well, here we go with another battle against, you know, good old buddy Rival Gary. And he is going to be coming out with his Pidgeotto right here. Luckily for us, we came out with some different guns right here. We got Shocker. And thankfully, you know, it's, it's a lot faster. A lot, lot faster. And look at that. Pidgeotto defeated. Okay. See? Look at that. Shocker kicking some butt, taking some names. And he's about to come out with a Gyarados, so let's go ahead and continue on right here. And look at that. Intimidate. Usually lowering our physical attack right there, but luckily for a Shocker, not much of a physical attacker. Look at that. And, well, Gyarados defeated. No match for Shocker right here. And, well, let's see. He's going to be coming out with his Growlithe, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Leonardo because, he's, you know, we... we, we we're fixing to evolve this Pokemon right here. And, well, here comes Le uh, Growlithe. And, well, you gotta love the whole Intimidate thing because he likes to lower our attacks. But here comes the Mega Pulse attack for the win. And uh, there goes Growlithe. Yes, Growlithe is not too happy right now. And, well, Leonardo gets some points. And he's gonna be coming out with an Ivysaur. So let's go ahead and finish it off with our good old buddy, Budkiss. Big booty Budkiss. I should probably come out with a, like a full-on team of the big booties. You guys know what I'm talking about. And look at that. Budkiss is intimidating. Has done some damage right there. Let's go with an Ember attack. And... Ooh! Nearly defeats Ivysaur right here. And... Well, the Sleep Powder misses. So, this gives us the opening right here that we need. Aerial Ace for the win. And there goes Ivysaur. Okay. Alrighty. And there you go, Kadabra's about to come out. This Pokemon right here needs to be taught a lesson. This is the reason why I brought Puss in Boots, because we're trying to evolve this Pokemon. Somebody mentioned five more levels, so I kinda wanna I kinda wanna follow through right here, so let's go with a bite attack. And yes, it is super effective. Thankfully, it makes this Pokemon flinch, so here we go, bite attack. And that nearly defeats Kadabra. And, uh, wow. One hit KO, Puss in Boots. You are. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Puss in Boots, why must you hate me? Alright. Let's go back to Leonardo. Yeah. I think you guys know the reason why I put Puss in Boots back into the PC. And there you go. Somebody has fainted. And there we go. Rival Gary has been defeated. <laughs> So, as you guys can see, Gary's gonna be like, How's your Bogadex coming? I just got a Cuba. I can't find the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish, unlike you. Smell you later. Flipping you off, homie. I'm flipping you off. Anywho. So, I have did a lot of activity, guys, outside of Pokemon uh, Fire Red and Emerald and all that stuff, including the premiere of our Pokemon, or the last episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, and that is that I was playing, uh, I was playing a lot of, um, what was it called? I was playing a lot of the, the, the other games that I had right here onto my stream deck, like Pokemon Red and Blue, 
Let's see, Ruby and Sapphire. Now, the reasons why I've been playing these two games, or these four games, for every version, it was because, or is because, I should say, um, let's see, oh yes, trades. Trades in Pokemon Stadium as well, because, well, we kind of knew, we kind of, we kind of do need the separate teams, and I kind of want to feature a little bit more going into these new walkthroughs that, you know, we're going to be coming out over the weekend. And, uh... Not only that, but like in Ruby and Sapphire, going into Emerald, yes, I kind of want to trade Pokemon right there too. And well, let's see. For this, for this whole you know area right here, yes, we are going to be going slow on the walkthrough fights, mainly because th this episode is all about this one particular place right here. And well, we're gonna be healing up our Puss and Boots and Hyper Potion Puss and Boots. Now I'm gonna be using Puss and Boots. In the front because there is something cool about this normal type Pokemon can't be affected by these uh, ghost types so let's go right ahead and start battling everybody so like I was saying guys we will be featuring a lot more walkthroughs over the week then weekends they're actually gonna be weekend only kind of walkthroughs that way you guys can actually expect something going into the weekends and all that stuff uh, one of them is one of them is, uh, what was it called, uh, it's Pokemon, uh, Stadium. You guys have been waiting for that one, and since we've actually finished, uh, Pokemon Yellow and all that stuff, I was playing Pokemon Red and Blue off-screen, and the majority of these Pokemon that were, are, are gonna be used for those games, yeah, they're gonna be used for Pokemon Stadium. That way, you know, we don't have to trade back and forth and all that stuff. We have everybody well-equipped and ready to go, especially for the other... The other uh, challenges that go into Pokemon Stadium, such as the Pika Cup, the Poke Cup, you know, all those cups and all that crud. And, well, yes, we're going to be taking on more Gastlys right here. And the best way these Gastlys can defeat Puss in Boots is through moves such as this, you know, Confuse Ray and all that crud. Or Spite, just take away our, you know, take away our ability to attack it, and, well, let's see, do we have anything? No, we don't have anything, so now we have to go with luck. Come on, Puss in Boots. Let's go. And it hurts, it hurts itself, and, well, let's see, Spite Attack doesn't do anything right now, so let's go, come on. Let's go, Puss in Boots. Oh my god, okay, so we're gonna speed this up, and there we go, we defeated it. See, Draven's not the, he's not the lucky guy going in this, and, well, Puss in Boots grows a level 28. Carly has been defeated, and it seems that most of these Chandlers have been possessed somehow. I don't know. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on along right here, and we have another room. Let's go ahead and grab some items first before we start battling everybody right here. Do remember that there are ghost-type Pokemon in here, such as Ghastly, Haunter, and you'll catch that occasional rare uh, Cubone. And, hoo -hoo -hoo, beat me not. Okay, so here we go, taking on Chandler Jody. She will be coming out with her Ghastly, and we're going to be going straight for the Bite Attack, and, you know, thankfully there is a room where it heals up all our Pokemon right here. That way I don't have to use up all the Bite Attacks, and, well, there we go. For the win! And just like that, Puss in Boots is going to keep on uh, beating everybody right here, since it's a normal type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. We found ourselves a great ball that could be useful. And, well, let's see. Getting attacked by a Pokemon. I hope it's a Ghastly. And look at that. We found ourselves a Ghastly. Okay. Bite attack. Now, many of you guys are wondering, what are you doing right now? Well, crap baskets. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it killed itself. It literally killed itself. Okay, so yes, guys, I am trying to capture myself. I am trying to capture myself a uh, a ghastly because of the trades and all that. So here we go, taking on Chandler Laurel, and yes, she is coming out with her ghastly right here. I think I should probably capture a a, uh, a ghastly a little bit more stronger than you know level 17. There goes a Confuse Ray. And, uh, <laughs> okay, so let's see. Let's go with the Bite Attack. Come on. You know you want to hit him. Bite Attack, Crap Baskets. Okay. And just like that, it got defeated. 
but there was a uh, there was a curse attack right there, so we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Leonardo. So the mission right now is to try and evolve both, either or or together, Leonardo and Puss and Boots. And well, here comes Ghastly. Let's go with a Water Pulse attack. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. What now? Okay. And yes, every single one of these people are just gonna be like talking to you like. Well, I've been possessed. I have been possessed. And I think we got one more person right here. Let's see. Yes. Ghost! No! Ah! Okay. Bring it on. Here we go. Taking on a Chandler Paula. And... Here we go. Taking on a, another Ghastly. So, there we go. Bite attack does it. And here comes a flinch. So, this gives us the opening we need. And just like that, Ghastly has been defeated. And, ooh, nearly defeated that guy right there. Nearly got to level 25. Alrighty, so let's go in straight to the third or fourth floor. Yes, this is probably the fourth floor right here. We got one more opponent. You shall join us. Now, some of these, uh, like, some of these challenge references got changed. Like, some of them wanted, like, blood, want to suck our blood, and all that stuff. And, of course, you know, kids play this game, so it's just like, you know, some parents got a little too, a little too iffy about the whole, you know, sucking blood and all that crud. And, well, here comes a curse attack. Don't know why you did that. And, well, Ghastly's not going to lose any kind of HP right there. And just like that... Puss in Boots grows to level 25, and it's trying to learn Faith Attack, so this is perfect because, yeah, Bite Attack, not so good, well, it's good for making people Pokemon flinch, but Faint Attack never misses, and, well, we have defeated Ruth, yeah, alrighty, okay, alright, so, let's see. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Bam. And everybody has been healed. I am going to sneeze right now. <coughs> okay, so I'm back. Sneezed a couple, a couple of times. But here we found ourselves a cleanse tag, which is a very good repellent. An item for repelling any kind of Pokemon right here. And, you know... I should probably use it for like this this area right here for just the time being. So actually, why would I? Yeah, never mind. Screw it. Let's go right ahead and battle with more Pokemon trainers. And yeah, it doesn't work. But we are gonna be taking on a Ghastly right here, level 15. And let's go ahead and try out that new Faint Attack right here. And look at this: Faint Attack, Critical Hit, Puss and Boots. You are showing your worth right here. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this person. Give me your all. Of course. That was give me your blood. I don't know why she never... Well, I know why they switched it, but it's like, really? Come on. So here we are, taking on a Haunter. Haunter, of course, a little bit more powerful than, than, than Ghastly. And there we go. Half the HP right there. And here comes a Spite Attack, which of course will lower our uh, Faint Attack by two. Luckily for us, there is a Purified Zone close by, so we can heal up our Pokemon anytime right here. And just like that, Haunter has been defeated. And 600 more points for Puss and Boots right here. Okay. Alrighty, Puss and Boots, you're finally redeeming yourself, finally. And, well, let's go ahead and get into this Purified Zone. And we are fully healed. Let's go ahead and take away that cleanse tag because, well, as you guys probably already <laughs> probably already noticed, it did not work. All right, let's see what we got. Zombies. Okay, so we are taking on Karina, and she is coming out with her ghastly right here. So, Puss and Boots, how's it going? Let's go with that faint attack. And bam, Puss and Boots defeated. Oh no. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, Ghastly defeated, but here comes that Confusion attack right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go straight for a Feint attack. Hopefully this hits. And, yes, finally, we break a streak. It's about in time. And look at that. Ghastly has been defeated. What now? 
And Puss in Boots. Okay, so you're, you're being a little stubborn in trying to gr gain some levels right there. So let's go right ahead, right behind this guy. But of course, yeah, <laughs> they find us. Okay, so Chandler Janae wants the battle. Coming with her Ghastly. All right, Ghastly, meet the scratch attack. And uh, look at this. Bane attack nearly defeats Ghastly right here. And uh, seriously, why would you go for Curse? Probably because my Pokemon's a little faster. I don't know. But, there we go. Ghastly has defeated itself. And Puss in Boots grows to level 26. Okay, alright. Yes, we are we are we are putting in some work right here, and grabbing this, we found ourselves another nugget, which can be used for more uh, more Muna Mulas. Okay, so here we have another Ghastly level 15. Yeah, we're gonna try and capture the more stronger Ghastly. That way we can, you know, it won't be that hard to actually train up in or anything like that. So let's go ahead and switch you or go down here, and we have found ourselves an X accuracy. And let's go right ahead and, again, battle another Ghastly, I think. Oh, no, it's a Cubone. Look at that. Okay, so Cubone, it is a very, very rare Pokemon going into the into the Pokemon Tower right here. If you guys have watched any of the mini-series of going into the, uh, or of the Pokemon mini-series, yes, uh, Cubone. The reason it has that skull on its head is to mourn the mother. Or to mourn its dead mother and all that stuff. And, well, what we're going to do right here is we're going to capture this Pokemon because, well, <laughs> kind of need it for the collection. And look at that. Throwing out that piece on it. Captured ourselves a new Pokemon. And that is Cubone. Look at his Pokemon. It wears the skull of its dead mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome, it is said to cry loudly. This Pokemon... This Pokemon is a, an interesting Pokemon to actually go with, and well, we'll talk more once we get through when we get to it. And here we have a Give Me Blood. Okay, so I guess they didn't take out every single reference, and here we go taking on Angelica from the Rugrats and Puss in Boots. How's it going? Let's go faint attack, finish him off. And that nearly defeats Gassy right there. Here comes the Confuse Ray. Okay, so don't, definitely don't need a Confuse Ray on us right now. Come on, Puss in Boots. Hit him. And yes, okay, finally. Things are going our way. Things are finally going our way with the whole confusion and all that stuff. And well, let's see. Just about to come out with another Ghastly, so this should be good training for... Uh, for Puss in Boots. So let's go again into the confusion. And yes, we hit him and it sacrifices itself. Unfortunately, there's another Pokemon coming out, so we might have to switch out right here. And well, yeah, we're gonna have to switch out. Let's go right ahead and get Leonardo. And it looks like Puss in Boots has grabbed another item. So let's go right ahead and take on Ghastly with a Water Pulse attack right here. And look at this. Ghastly defeated. And that nearly grows Leonardo to level 35. So we're close. We are very close. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and battle some other trainers right here. Okay. Key, 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 key. You know, the references in, in all of these people are just... It's, it's, I'm kind of wondering what they're on. Who is... Who is, uh, what was it called, uh, possessing these Pokemon? So here we go, faint attack. And that nearly defeats Ghastly right there. And of course, we get confused yet again. Because nobody likes us. And, uh, well, let's see. Come on. And we did it. Okay, so the. Kind of getting some good luck right here. Very, very good luck. Okay. So let's go right ahead and finish off these Chandlers right here by taking on this last one. Hoo-hoo! Okay, alrighty. So, here we have Chandler Amelia, and she is coming out with her Ghastly. So let's go right ahead 
and see what we got. Another faint attack. It never hurts to actually win this one. And here we go. Faint attack. Nearly does it. And of course, confuse it. Confuse it. Confuse Ray, I should say. Yeah. Okay, so. Alrighty, so faint attack. Can it do it? Yes, it does. Ghastly has been defeated. Alrighty, and nearly grows to level 27. Good gravy. Okay, so. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would grow to level 27 right here. Because of this, I believe. Yes, yeah, so a rare candy. Alright, so before we do anything, guys, I'll be right back with you. Gotta go find myself a, a Haunter, or no, a Ghastly, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we found ourselves a level 18 Ghastly. We have defeated a another Ghastly before, getting us to level 27 right here, and that right there keeps Ghastly where it's at. So, what's gonna happen is, we're gonna be doing, using a Great Ball right here. Alrighty, come on, let's go. Stay in the ball. Stay in there. And there we go, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so we've caught ourselves Ghastly. Pokemon that I've been wanting to use for quite some time. And as you guys can see, it is the Gas Pokemon. A being that exists as a thin gas. It can topple an Indian elephant by enveloping the prey in two seconds, which is kind of odd. So, let's go right ahead and give it its nickname. As many of you guys already know from Pokemon Crystal. We have bequeathed this guy his nickname, Smoke, from Mortal Kombat, and it's going into the PC now. Since we found ourselves a rare candy, and I did say we're going to have one evolution, let's go right ahead and give it to Puss in Boots right here. Puss in Boots is finally happy that we <laughs> that, that we were finally letting it uh, spread, spread its wings and fly and all, all this, and well, just like that, Puss in Boots grows to level 28. And look at that. So yes, somebody had somebody had commented on my last episode about five more levels to evolve. Well, here you go. Five more levels. It is now a Persian. A very, very quick Persian, I should say. Look at that. Puss in Boots is now a Persian. Oh my god. Now let's go right ahead and take a look at the item that Persian has uh has uh, given us right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. We grabbed ourselves an orange berry. Let's go ahead and take a look at Puss in Boots now as a Persian. And it's still a bold nature. And let's see. So its ability has changed right here from uh, Pickup to Limber, which of course per uh, prevents paralysis. And as you guys can see, it's a very, 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 very fast Pokemon. So it is very, very useful for your team if you want to have it. And, well... We've accomplished something right here, so now it's time to accomplish something else. Let's go with Leonardo. Here's the last part that we need to get to. Be gone, intruders. And here we have the ghost that's been scaring everybody off at level 30. And since we have the self scope, we've unveiled that it is a dead Marowak right here. For those who are new or who have played the other versions, you guys already know that this Pokemon right here is uncatchable. Even if you try cheating and using the Master Ball, this guy will dodge it. So you have to defeat it. You actually have to make this Pokemon just go away. So here we go, Leonardo. Do it. Water Pulse. And wow, Marowak is really kicking some butt right there. So here it goes again. Water Pulse yet again. And there we go. Marowak has fainted. And is about to go into the uh, other world right here. Look at this. Leonardo has grown to level 35. The ghost was the restless spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother spirit was calmed. It departed to the afterlife. If you guys don't know, this Cubone or this Cubone's uh, this particular Cubone's mother, the Marowak, has been killed by Team Rocket. You guys will find out. We'll, we'll find out uh, the whole story if you go into Mr. Dr. Fuji or Professor Fuji or whatever his name is, Mr. Fuji's uh, house. That way you guys can actually see that, you know, it's a very, very tragic story right here. So, now we got three more Pokemon trainers right here, which are Team Raga members. And yes, we have to defeat these guys. So, let's go right ahead and take on 
all the grunts, and I think right here is where we're gonna actually have to speed it up a little, because they usually have the same Pokemon. We're gonna be using Leonardo in all this. And here, finally, there's a Golbat, and look at that. He gives up. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to forget this. Yeah, I don't know about that. So, let's see. We're gonna keep on healing up our Pokemon right here. Hopefully, we do have some kind of crap baskets. Okay, we don't have anything to heal our Pokemon. So, I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta heal up my Pokemon. Okay, so we're back, guys. We're healed up. We're ready to go. We got two more trainers. So, what? what's the worst that could happen? This old guy marched up right up to our hideout. Then, he starts ranting about how po Team Rocket abusing Pokemon. So, we're just taking it or we're just talking it out as adults. Okay, we're talking two adults right here. Here we go, taking on a Team Rocket Grunt. And he is coming out with his coughing, his usual coughing. So let's go right ahead, speed it up so Leonardo can just dominate everybody. Look at that. And we got a drowsy, confusing ass. But of course, we defeat it. And there we go. Please, no more. Yeah, he, he's saying no more. Pokemon are only good for making money. Why not use them? You stay out of our business. Oh, wow. All right. So we got one more, and we got this guy. He's like, you're not saving anyone, kid. Man, these guys are yeah, these guys are just uh, the worst right here. So here we go, taking on a Team Rocket Grunt. And yes, he is coming out with his usual Pokemon. So let's go right ahead. And there we go, Water Pulse for the win. And we're inching closer and closer to becoming a Blastoise, and I think we have enough, uh, enough Pokemon to do so. So let's go right ahead and do that. And here comes a Ratatata. And this Ratatata is going to get this Water Tata. And bam! Leonardo grows to level 36. And he's coming out with the Raticate. So let's go right ahead and use Smasher for this whole situation. Alrighty. How's it going? Smasher's here. Smasher, let's go with the Brick Break. You gotta love the fact that this Pokemon is a Switchblade just like, or you know, a Swiss Army Knife just like Nidoking. It can learn anything, just about anything, and it's a very good Pokemon. And bam! Don't fight us, Rockets! But why not? And here we are, guys, another evolution. As promised, Leonardo is finally growing into a Blastoise right here. And it took us, wow, 11 episodes. 11 long episodes, and, uh, wow, I really am, really, really am doing a good job in trying to finish this whole walkthrough up early, as early as possible. But here it is, guys, Blastoise. And we have defeated this guy. He's like, you're not getting away with us. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our other new Pokemon, Blastoise, right here. So as you guys can see, Blastoise, big old tank, has guns. On the sides of its uh, shoulders right there. Bam. Does have the ability Torrent. So, it is a, it's looking pretty good. It does have a very good special defense and physical defense. And, uh, well, it actually is a very, very, like, it's actually a pretty fast Pokemon for its size right there, too. And, as you guys can see, we do have some pretty good moves, a uh, good move set right here at round level 36. So, after defeating all of the Rocket characters right here, you talk to Mr. Fuji, and he's like, <laughs> You came to save me. Thank you. But I came here to, of um, or of my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of the Cubone's mother. I think my wax spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home, Pokemon, or uh, Pokemon, or the Pokemon House, at the foot of this tower. Okay, so here we are, guys, in the Pokemon House. And after defeating everybody, going into the Pokemon Tower, you talk to Mr. Fuji, and he's like, Draven, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for your Pokemon, your quest may fail. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. And there we go, we get ourselves a Poke Flute. Which, of course, upon hearing the Poke Flute, sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it on Pokemon that are sleeping obstacles. Hmm, okay, so he's talking about sleeping obstacles. Anywho, guys, we finally finished up this episode right here. This is pretty much the whole thing right here. I believe... I believe in this whole episode, or I, be, I believe in the next few episodes, we're going to be taking a, 
a few side quests, battling and all that stuff, just to make it a little more interesting for you guys. If you guys are wondering, when will I be trading? It will be very, very soon, guys. Very soon, because believe it or not, there's a little bit more going into this uh, this, this walkthrough, especially in this game. I kind of want to feature some more Pokemon going into this thing. Other than that, happy New Year's, guys. Hope you had a safe one. Let's see. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there's a heart button right there. Let's throw in a small donation if you guys want to. And, yeah. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for subscribing. And being uh, supportive as always. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here. See you guys.